I was so broken about the fact that Legion died. Commander. Joker. What's on your mind, Edie? I was just reflecting. The Quarians' historical era was not making the Geth enough like them. I'm not sure I understand. Units with networked intelligences will trend toward cooperation for mutual benefit. But units with central heuristics establishing an individual personality, such as myself, develop preferences. Yeah, you prefer Joker. These preferences form attachments that keep my calculations from devaluing the worth of the lives aboard the Normandy. You're saying the Geth turned on the Quarians because they aren't individuals? That is my theory. But it is limited to a sample size of one society. The only other notable synthetic society is the Reapers. And we do not know if they're governed by consensus as the Geth do. Do me a favor. Don't ask them. Please don't. Also, by the way, uh, Edie, when you said that I was staring, you are not as sexy as you think. Hello, Shepard. Okay. You are not as sexy as you think. But I am. I would be staring at you, not because of like, oh my god, she's hot. No, it's, it, would be, it would easily be because of the fact that I... Edie has a body. What? Alrighty then, time for party, and then I'm calling it a day. I'm sad we can't land on, like, planets. Please don't tell me the fucking... Like, I'm, I'm not continuing on with the storyline until after this. I need to explore the galaxy, get some shit done, and then... I kind of wish Tally would invite me somewhere here. C-Sec officer, what the fuck? It didn't help that we had some brutal side objectives, but even then... Officer. Someone requested my presence concerning an incident with the Krogan. Right this way, Commander. All right. Well, who's the Krogan? No. Don't tell me it's Rex. Oh wait, no, it's Grant. I think. Grant. So, Grant. Anything you want to tell me about? Uh, this clown wants to take me to lockup. Figured I'd give you a call. Straighten this out. Commander Shepard, I apologize for the intrusion. This Krogan insisted we contact you. What it's seems okay. to be... I'll vouch for him. I'll sign any paperwork you have, officer. Yes, sir. What happened? I don't know. Drank a bit, left the hospital, broke a few windows. <laughs> Excuse me, what? <laughs> but you were in that hospital recovering from the Rachni encounter. Yeah... Didn't feel like sticking around. Most people stick around long enough to, you know, heal. Most people aren't me. That's an true. Why is CSEC here? The fuck did you Guess do? they're precious about some broken glass. Did anybody get hurt? Before I sign you up, everybody walked away from this in one piece, right? Sure, yeah, everybody's fine. Hospital seen better days, though. <laughs> right. Tell me about the windows. A couple of squad mates broke me out for my birthday. Tried lowering me down the side of the building on a rope. It didn't work out. <laughs> it's your birthday? Happy birthday! No, I'm tank bread, remember? Anyway, we got some pictures on the Krogan Memorial. In the Presidium? Yeah. When c -Sec got there, they were mad. Or maybe they were mad about their car being on fire. I can't remember. The fucking... Why was it on fire? I threw my bottle of ring call at it. Pretty strong stuff. It went up like a bonfire. God damn it, Grunt! c -Sec guys jumped out. Then I figured they didn't want it, so I took it. We didn't get very far before they shut us down. Sprayed us down with riot foam. <laughs> didn't work so well on me and why is that this is gets fire, worse you know from the car come on shepherd keep up 
Right. Sorry. So how did they catch you? This keeps getting Got worse. Hungry. Bought some noodles. <laughs> they got angry. Run. You apologize to the nice man for setting his car on fire. <laughs> Fine. I'm sorry for setting your car on fire. <laughs> He's like a fucking child, dude. And I won't do it again. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> now, officer, I can pay for any damages that may have occurred. Except for the fact That's that what you've been signing for, Commander. You're lucky, Krogan. Don't let me catch you up here again. You won't. Thank you, officer. Jesus Christ, Grunt, what the fuck? That was an amazing story, though. So, how were those noodles? A little spicy. Hmm. You're my hero, Grunt. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? <laughs> <laughs> God, grunt, you're the best. Ah, oh, that was funny as fuck. Wait, can I do something here with Tally or not? Or is that just later on? I don't know. Maybe after the party, I can still come here. Cortez, what do you want? After this, I'm on after party, dude. Welcome aboard, Shepard. So where are we going? Activating external cameras. So you mean opening I didn't up? No, this shuttle had virtual windows. But there's more you don't know about this bird. It was like fucking the night four thousand, like the four thousand fields. Sorry. There was no such thing as inertial dampeners. Yeah. Here, feel this. Whoa. That, my friend, is unadulterated momentum. Wanna really feel it? Go for it. Show me. Give me all you got, dude. <laughs> you see? It doesn't take much to pull a few G's. Back in the day, pilots would wear G suits. It squeezes your body so that the blood stays in your head in tight maneuvers. I'd wear a G suit when flying my trident. In a fighter, it's common to transfer power from the inertial dampeners to other systems. You miss flying fighters? Can't imagine you're too thrilled to be flying a shuttle. Hell no. I'm not just any shuttle pilot. I'm, I'm the... your shuttle pilot. Yeah! Wouldn't have it any other way. Neither would I. When you're on the ground, weapon in hand, you're invincible. But when we're approaching True. Z, you're just another soldier. Vulnerable. Nothing you can do if we're shot down. Getting you to the ground alive is a responsibility I wouldn't trust to anyone else. Me neither. I'm fortunate to have you, Steve. Anytime, Shepard. Steve? What the fuck is Steve? It's, his name is Cortez, I thought. I thought his name was Cortez. I was a stupid child back in the day, but I mean, I'm still stupid. Like, back when I was a kid, I actually thought that Officer, well, then Dutch version, but still shut the fuck up. Anyway, Officer was like their first name. I thought everyone was named Officer. Because, like, it's Officer last name. It's like, I thought it was like, Officer was their first name. Then I learned that, the, you know, that wasn't really true. All right, I'm gonna be the life of the party. And I think now I can also invite Grunt, which is good as well. Legion, though. This party is for Legion. I swear to God, dude. All right, first of all, save the game. Because I must. Then, invite up Tally, 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 you motherfuckers. You motherfuckers. Dude, by this time I won't be able to fucking be the life of the party. No! You got like what? Like what? Fucking hell, dude. I want Tally up here. Please tell me later on I can put Tally up. I can bring Tally. Who the fuck is playing my piano? Who's playing my piano? Who dares? 
I didn't know you could play piano. Greetings, Commander. Oh God, where did you come from? I didn't know you could play. Yeah. Actually, this is the only song I know. I didn't know you had one of those. There was always something more important to do. A ruin to uncover. Intel to gather. A commander to save. When the fuck did you save me? You couldn't sit still long enough. Actually, it was like once. <laughs> Could you? Why this song? Is there something special about this song? <sighs> On one of my first digs, a storm swept in. We were trapped inside. I was so restless. I wanted to get back to work. One of the other archaeologists, Dr. Olena, had this keyboard. She took it everywhere. She taught me to play this song while we waited. It's a good song. Thank you, Shepard. The person who taught me that song was a friend. I spend so much time chasing down knowledge. Sometimes I forget that there are things you learn by doing nothing. The fuck? What? By just spending time with the people you care about. Friends. What have you learned from me? <laughs> how? How to get myself into life-threatening situations on a daily basis. Hourly basis. I am a good <laughs> the best. True. Well, I should probably go. I have reports to look over. Take a break. Right. But first, why don't you teach me that song? Take a break. You just hit this one and this one and this one and this one and then two seconds later this one. Oh shit. Huh. But hmm, I can still talk to you. This place is nice. Shall I transfer over your reports so that you might work here? No. Yes. Thank you, Glyph. Ah. Uh. Glyph, can you copy that song to my personal files on the Normandy? Certainly, Dr. Tony. Eh. Eh. Gotta move my body in unnatural ways, which means turning. Shepard. Liara. I need to turn off my fucking alarm clothes. Thank you. Good. Alright. Ah! Move back up. It's actually a nice song, not gonna lie. No, I don't want to send invitations. I got other shit to do. But I do need to go over there, so. Alright, fuck it. We'll invite everyone. And then the next time when we come back, we will send invitations and then do some bullshit called... You know, the other games. Call yet, my boy! Come here. What you want? The memorial for your dad, of course. I want to bring Tally and Garrus. They serve with your father. <gasps> Thane, my boy! <laughs> Thane! We are gathered here to honor the life of Thane. Tally! Garrus, my boy! Tally, my girl! Thane touched each of our lives in different ways. The counselor knew him as a hero. The Normandy's crew knew him as a brother in arms. True. And others as a father devoted to his son. Though his life took him to very dark places, Thane cared for the better angels of our nature. He did. Even when he was terminally ill, he ran through worn torn streets to reach me because he knew I needed help. He did. When the we did. The results of that yes. Day. An assassin, a professional criminal, gave his life for his galaxy. And now he can rest. The greatest of us all. Would anyone else like to speak? Coliat. No, everybody. Tally, speak. What I remember about Thane. Yes, was come on. Confidence. He told I should have done this last. How he remembered everything. Even every mistake he made. If I did that, I'd be a nervous wreck. Ah, uh, you are slow, and it makes you so control. cute. Garrus. It's strange, but the last word I label Thane with is assassin. And we covered each other in firefights. That makes him a partner. 
Dane took himself seriously, a trait with which I did not always agree. I tried to make him laugh on several occasions. <laughs> well, it but is. What I interpreted as a lack of humor was masking a great effort. Dane was turning his life around in a way few organics do. The day Thane came onto the Normandy, all Kelly and I knew about him was that he could probably kill us all with a ballpoint pen. But after you got to know him, there wasn't any reason to be afraid. He let you know where you stood. Hey. Yet, do you, uh... Shut up, you! Speak! When I was little, I thought my father had it all figured out. He said men must be loyal to their friends and dangerous to their enemies. True. But when he prevented me from, from hurting someone, he had changed. He said enemies and ego are not as important as loved ones. I didn't want to hear it. I was lost. I called him a hypocrite in a thousand different ways. Said that he was going soft. Now, I think maybe he did have it all figured out. That's all I can say. If anyone would like to continue, we'll be here. Looks like people are starting to clear out. Commander, thank you for holding this event. Anytime. In time, it will be a good memory. I don't know if I'll be as philosophical about it. It's still kind of raw. I understand. If you will excuse me, I should take this opportunity to speak with the counselor. But what? She is feeling grateful. <coughs> and I want to point out there are some Solarian biologists who need funding. If anyone would be able to create a breakthrough in the treatment of Keppel's syndrome, it would be them. Do it, I'll help. If you need someone to hold the counselor's feet to a fire, then there. It's all right, Commander. Counselor Ashiel could use some good press right now. This is the right time for such a favor. Oh, before I go, I was organizing my father's possessions, and I came upon copies of video messages he tried to send you. Oh, come on. I sent them to your extranet address. I hope they help more than they hurt. Until we meet again, oh, Commander. Come on, now I can't. Ah, Kaden will be next time. Fuck it, I'm ending it after I watch the fucking extranet videos. Vitz, come on! Oh, it's upstairs, what the fuck? Is there anyone else here, or is this place just cleared out? Okay, it's cleared out, everyone decided to fuck off. First message. Shepard, I suppose I should thank you for my freedom. Leaving the Normandy was the right decision. It was saddening to see our crew go their separate ways. But it is better than answering questions in an Alliance interrogation room. I hope this message finds you well. As for me, I have moved into an apartment on the Citadel not far from Kolyat. Kolyat. <laughs> hey. I think the first attack I had frightened him. I will spare you the details. It seemed very dramatic at the time. But in comparison to the Omega Relay, it was a child's game. Huh. In any case, good luck getting the Alliance to listen to you. Let's keep in touch. Shepard, if you sent a message back, I didn't get it. I suppose communications from someone of my reputation would be restricted. The irony is, I am a danger to no one these days. I am even paying taxes on my investments. I can't expect Kolyat to do so if I don't. He is doing better. He has no significant other, and he is temperamental. But he is employed and staying out of crime. Good. I can tell he is serious about changing. It has cost him more than a few friends. Send something back if you can, Shepard. 
I can only learn so much from news reports about you. I wish I could send something back, but I never got these messages. Bane! I have tried a false identity to try to get this message through to you. We'll see if it works. Didn't. I have good news and bad. The good news is that Kolyat and I took a few days to visit Earth. Ah! Light the shade of her eyes. Trill sound of chirping stops. I scan the ground. See two tiny bodies locked by claws. Excuse me. As I was saying, we saw a beautiful sunset in New Mexico and a scorpion eating a cricket. I wish you could have joined us. I was locked Bad up. Is, I had. I fainted and struck my head. Goliath has convinced me to stay at Huerta Memorial on the Citadel. I will be there from now on. I still don't want to die in a hospital. But it's where the doctors are. And Kolyat. I love him. That means I must trust him. <laughs> Goodbye, Shepard. Let me say that now, in case I cannot later. Ah, oh, Thane is just amazing, isn't he? Alright, I'm done. <laughs> On that sad note, but also happy note, I call it a day. So yeah, thank you all so very much for watching. When we come back next time, we will have the life of the party, hopefully. But with that being said, if you guys have enjoyed, and if you did, please like and subscribe if you have not done, or have not done so already. Turn on notifications, and as always, stay tuned for more. Bye.